I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. We on the road to 400 subs. 400 subs. Oh my God. Everybody, I appreciate you for subscribing so far. I really mean it. If you haven't subscribed, we about to start turning up here. You feel me? Topic for today is ARP Ether's URL 10-part documentary. This has been going on, bro. This has been going on for like three weeks. Where ARP had dropped like a 10-minute blog, you feel me? Talking about URLs a stealer. That's what it was called, too. Like, the what was it? The imitators are actually the followers or something like that, you feel me? A 10-part documentary, though. Like, I didn't want to make one video on it because I didn't know when he was going to stop, you feel me? Like, I hope he's not going past 10. This has been nuts, bro. This has been nuts, bro. Like, he literally sat down and took his time and talked about everything. For the last 10, 12 years, bro, everything. Everything. Like, bro, if this was a... And this is part of his podcast, I guess. If he put this all on one, like, episode, one long thing, I would listen to it. I ain't gonna lie. It would probably be like two hours and 30 minutes, but I'll listen to it. Because this was really informative. I ain't gonna lie. This was really informative. Let's get into it. You feel me? He immediately started talking about how URL started right after King of the Dot. You feel me? King of the Dot started what? October 08. URL started December 09 or something like that. He was in his bag, bro. I'm not gonna lie. In his bag. All right. King of the Dot was August 08. URL was October 09. You feel me? He talked about face-offs. You feel me? He talked about how Jay Black was been doing face-offs for UW. And now he's doing face-offs for URL. Like, bro, he talked about black, how they was still... He said that URL doesn't come up with nothing. None of their ideas are original. Ben, they stole from King of the Dot Blackout. Wookiees vs. Vets, they stole from um, RBE, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Ladies and Gents, they now they got Kings vs. Queens. Like, everything that they got, they just stole. You feel me? And then he was spicing a little clips there. Where it's like, yo, they might actually be stealing. Bro, this was spooky. I ain't gonna lie. This was spooky. This was spooky. He talked about how um, King of the Dot had their World Dom in London. King of the Dot World Dom 8 was in London. You already did Summer Madness 8 in London. You feel me? He talked about two on twos, how that started on grind time and all of that. And then you already started doing two on twos. Bro. He talked about URL blocking battles and then getting mad when, uh, like, boom. How can I put this? How can I put this? So, what the URL does is they will block a battle from happening on RBE because they don't want, they don't have no intention of having it, you feel me? Just because they don't want it. They want it all for themselves. Like... He got into some history, you feel me? He also confirmed that you are rather suing him. Now, I think, thought about it. We had no saying that you are rather suing him. But I didn't officially think that this is real. This is real. I'm not going to lie. You are rather actually suing him because King Lowe's. Because King Lowe's battled Daylight on RBE before he battled DNA on URL. That's what they're suing him for. That is crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's crazy. You know how much stuff the URL has done that they could have got sued for? And they only suing for King Los? Like, King Los? That's it? That's what y'all now suing over? It's like, bro, this is OD. This is really bad. I'm not gonna lie. He talked about, I'm doing that Summer Madness when the, around the time with the Mook A Verb card. And URL was actually paying people not to be on the Mook A Verb card. So they would do Summer Madness. He, he had a clip. Of Hollow saying a URL offered him twenty thousand dollars not to battle Murder Mook, not to battle Murder Mook, twenty thousand dollars to not battle Murder Mook. The URL offered Hollow twenty thousand dollars just to say no, just to say no, bro. Twenty bands to say no. 
That is crazy to me, bro. Like, that is spending money out the, bro. Bro. He talked about how he tried to get Clips versus Cassie booked. That could have been a battle. Right after Hitman and Cassie happened, ARP tried to get Charlie Clips versus Cassie. You feel me? But then I guess he signed a wild contract with URL, and now they trying to have Cassie and Freeway. Which still has not been no announcement. No trailer, no nothing. And that was a year ago. They teased Cassie and Freeway a year ago. It's a year later and it's still nothing. You feel me? He said we could have been had Charlie Clips versus Cassie. I would have been did that for y'all. Like, bro. And I believe that because right after Cassie and Hitman, he did, Ca he did Hitman and Calico. He probably would have did Hitman and Calico. Right after that, he did Clips and Cal. You feel me? He was doing mad big battles at this time, bro. So I definitely believe we could have had Cassie versus Charlie Clips. And that would have been an entertaining battle. Clips would have got up for that. That could have been one of the biggest battles of Charlie Clips' career. Honestly, because he doesn't have Mook on his resume. And his Rex battle wasn't a big battle. It was a body bag. That could have been one of Clips' biggest battles. You already messed that up. You feel me? He talked about how he tried to get Ace I mean, and show off book. That could have been a nice little battle, you feel me? A nice little mid-card battle. Ace I mean, and show off? That could have been good, you feel me? Bro, but he was going to work. He was going to work. He's talking about how the URL is trying to sign Rosenberg. Right now, they're trying to sign Rosenberg to URL. But he can't be on RBE for two years. Right now, they're trying to sign Mac Myron to be on URL. But he can't be on RBE for two years. Like, right now, with this whole contract stuff going on, this whole lawsuit because of King Los, they're still tampering with current RBE talent. Like, bro, I'm not going to lie. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. And then it's like, if you notice, like, you can see that they're suing him. Because I like these straight to the events. This is what's giving us the read dollars that we like, you feel me? It's giving us Mac Myron versus E Ness, you feel me? We just gave us Ill Will versus Rosenberg Raw. But we have no max outs this year. Think of that. No max outs this year. We are in September. It's been no max out three. No talk about max out three. No nothing. He's getting sued, bro. I believe that he's been in court, bro. Honestly. Because it's... He's still having good cards, but he has had no big cards all year, and we're in September. You cannot tell me that he's not being sued right now, you feel me? And it's just crazy that they're suing him, and they're the ones that's doing all the big stuff, you feel me? I love URL. Everybody loves URL. But y'all definitely is being childish, like, right now, you feel me? Yeah, because it's not even about the money. Y'all making way more money than them. Y'all putting on way bigger events than them. They only put on events like one every four months. Y'all got your own talent, you feel me? Y'all have bigger names than them. Y'all have Sue Surf. Y'all got Rock. Y'all got Twerk. Y'all got Geechee. Y'all got way bigger names than them. So it's like, why do y'all have your hands in their pocket? I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's a dirty game that we live in, you feel me? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. Follow me on Twitter at hoops underscore wrestling. I'll be back one more.